Hey everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to a new slime review video. Today I'll be giving a 100% honest slime review on three underrated slime shops and they are the Slime Truck, Oh My Slime AU, and Dream Glow Slime. If you enjoy my slime videos and slime ASMR, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe and also don't forget that my shop restocks November 7th at 2pm PST. Let's begin the review with our smallest underrated slime shop. This is the Slime Truck and they are located in the United Kingdom. If you're interested in any of their slimes, make sure to check out their Instagram and Slime Shop. They included six slimes for me to review along with some snacks, borax, and a business card. I'll begin with one of their DIY clay slimes. This is called Milk and Snickerdoodles. It comes with a semi-thick white glue base slime that is silky and super glossy and clicky and two realistic snickerdoodle clay pieces. The scent is exactly as described and smells just like sweet cinnamon sugar cookies. I love how the clay cookies look. They look super realistic and there's even some brown dusted on top of it to make it look like cinnamon. It seemed like the clay pieces were dried out, which is totally fine. This did come overseas and I did let the package sit for a few weeks. It was still satisfying to mix up since I can rip up the clay pieces and these clay pieces will eventually melt over time and absorb into the slime. As for now, it is still a pretty chunky slime, but when I do let it sit longer, it will eventually turn into a wonderful creamy clay slime. They did send me two other DIY clay slimes and those ones didn't dry out as much as this one, so it may be from the pigment, but I'm not too sure. Next up, we have another DIY clay slime, and this one comes with a cloud cream base. This is called Sweather Weather. This cloud cream is super creamy and does have a slight wet touch to it, and it comes with a clay topper that looks like a fluffy sweater. The scent for this slime is a vanilla cashmere, and to me, it smells very sweet and fresh, almost like clean laundry. This clay piece wasn't dried out at all and easily mixed into the slime, and once fully mixed, it turns into a fluffy snow butter. The final texture of this slime is definitely my favorite out of this package and maybe out of this whole video. It is so fluffy, so soft, and it inflates a ton. The sizzles are amazing. I really recommend this one if you're looking for a soft, fluffy, and inflatable cloud cream. Our next slime from the slime truck is a DIY clay fizz slime. So it comes with this waifu based snow fizz slime that is creamy and scented a mixture of sweet and fruity. It doesn't smell like Fruit Loops or other cereal scents that I've smelled before, but still very pleasant. It comes with a bunch of these small clay pieces that look like cereal. I love how there are a variety of shapes and colors. Since the clay pieces were pretty small, the texture and color didn't change too much. This texture is pretty packed, which makes it super crunchy, and I love how it's really creamy and easy to stretch. Definitely recommend this one if you're looking for a crunchy snow fizz slime.
This next slime is called Angel's Delight, and it is a light pink chewy clay slime that comes with a pearl clear slime that has a bunch of cute add-ins in it. There might be a bit of instant snow in it, but I'm not too sure. But the final texture is exactly as described. It is super chewy and squishy. Overall, really fun to play with if you like inflating slimes, and I really like how it becomes so crackly. The scent for this is a raspberry cream, which does smell very sweet and fruity. Next up we have Water Nymph Froyo and this is a cloud cream and icy slime. It seemed like it did mix a little bit but the bottom part did not mix at all so you can still see how it did have a design. I love the minty blue color and there's also some glitter on the bottom. Once you fully mix up the slime it turns into a soft fluffy snow butter. The texture is somewhat similar to Sweather Weather so I enjoy it just as much. It inflates a ton and just makes really nice sizzles. It is scented blueberry and vanilla and it smells super good but stronger on the fruity side than the sweet side. Next up we have the Steely Court and this is a gorgeous pink pigmented clear slime that is semi thick and has a bunch of different add-ins. There are a variety of different beads in it as you can see those round pearl ones on top, some other beads, female slices, glitter, and some block beads. It was a little underactivated so I did add some black solution to it but you can still see how gorgeous it is. This texture does remind me of a coated clear slime since it's so chewy and bouncy and it doesn't get too tacky when inflated. Overall a great clear slime for bubble pops that smells just like a blend of fruits. The next underrated slime shop that I'll be reviewing is ohmyslime.au which is a Malaysian slime shop. They included four slimes in this package along with a business card, some borax, snacks, and some tea. Make sure to check out their Instagram and shop if you're interested in their slime. First off, we'll be starting off with Halo Halo. 
It is, of course, inspired by the Filipino dessert Halo Halo. It comes with a clear base snow fizz slime, a purple clay scoop, a dark pink clear base jelly cube slime, a green clear base jelly cube slime, a condensed milk slime, and corn and red bean charms. I enjoyed assembling this one and I love how colorful it is and the variety in it is great. The slime is also super satisfying to mix because of the variety of textures and when fully mixed it turns into a purple clay fizz slime. The jelly cubes in it are on the smaller side and I love how soft and easy they are to squish. The final texture is still very soft while being very crunchy, overall great for ASMR and inflating, and the scent is just so delicious as well. This slime is scented a blend of taro and condensed milk and it smells so so good. It's super unique, I haven't smelled a scent like this before, but it really reminds me of a sweet potato -y scent and it's just really scrumptious. If any of that appeals to you, I strongly recommend this slime. Next up we have Yaki Mochi and this is a pretty unique texture. I've never felt anything like this before. It kind of reminds me of a store-bought putty but so much better. This texture is super chewy and really reminds me of mochi or rice cake. I'm not too sure what ingredients are used to make this slime but it kind of has that cornstarch feel in a slime. Either way, it's a very fun and unique texture. I also love how there's a gold leaf on the bottom to kind of look like the grilled part of the real thing. It has a slight jiggle to it and overall really fun to squeeze and stretch. The scent is also a brown sugar which smells super sweet and pleasant. Next up we have watermelon rose jello and this is a jiggly jello clear slime. It kind of has a similar texture to the yaki mochi but more bouncy, squishy, and not as dense. It's not sticky at all and I love how bouncy and jiggly it is. It's also very very chewy. This texture and the last one is super unique. I haven't felt anything like this before. The ASMR it makes is also super unique and I love how stretchy it is as well so I'm really glad that they sent this in the package. If you're wanting to experience some nude slime textures then I definitely recommend this slime shop. The slime is sent here a watermelon rose but to me I can't really smell the rose and it just smells like sweet realistic watermelon. The last slime that we have from Oh My Slime AU is another unique texture. This is a water slime and it came in this bottle. The slime is called Mixed Fruit Tea and it has this green color and it's scented a blend of mixed fruit teas. So green apple, tangerine, and black tea. It just smells really delicious, especially if you love fruity scents. 
This is my second time trying out a water slime. My first one was from Putty Egg, and honestly, I much prefer this one. This one is a lot stretchier and easier to handle. It doesn't break apart as easily, which I really enjoy. It's not tacky at all, and I just love how it jiggles. It feels and looks just like water, and overall, really recommend it. Lastly, we have another underrated slime package, and this is from Dream Glow Slime, which is located in the US. They included six slimes in my package, and a lot of goodies and extras. There were snacks, some lip gloss, some borax solution, a really cute pumpkin kitty card. I really appreciate all the extras that you guys send me. I love trying out new snacks, so thank you so much. And of course, if you're interested in any of their slimes, make sure to check out their Instagram and shop. We'll be starting off with Lava Lamp. This is a float slime, so it has an orange coated clear slime on the bottom and a neon pink icy on top. Most of the slimes were slightly underactivated, which is totally my fault. I did let it sit for a while, but that's why you always have some activator on hand since it easily fixes the slime. I loved mixing this slime up. You can see the colors throughout it and it really does remind you of a lava lamp. There are also some glitters that did settle on the bottom, which are super gorgeous. Once fully mixed, it turns into a juicy jelly slime that is fun to squish. It makes amazing bubble pops. This one is coated so it doesn't get tacky as well. Overall, love the colors and the aesthetic. It smells amazing as well. It's scented mango cream soda. To me, it smells very sweet and fruity. Next up, we have a DIY clay slime called Bubble Cloud Cake. It comes with a super silky and glossy, semi-thick white glue based slime that is scented like coconut macaron. To me, it smells more like a coconut cake, which is still a really nice sweet dessert-like scent. The Bubble Cloud Cake clay piece was super soft and adorable. It also comes with some glitter and rainbow female slices to decorate on top. The clay piece was really easy to mix in, and I noticed that while mixing it, the slime got chewier. The final texture is super soft soft, squishy, and chewy. It really feels like a chubby type of clay slime. Definitely recommend this one if you're looking for a squishy, puffy slime.
Next up, we have a slime called Sock. This is one of their best sellers, and it is a fluffy snow butter slime. At first, it is slightly chewy and makes nice bubble pops, but the more you play with it, the more it inflates to become so sizzly, soft, and fluffy. It's another one of their chubby and super inflatable clay slimes, and I definitely recommend this one. It's scented pink sugar, which to me smells mostly sweet with a hint of fruity. I usually don't enjoy pink sugar scents because they're usually too sweet and perfumey, but this one doesn't smell overbearing at all. This next slime is called Heartbreaker, and it is a DIY clay slime that comes with a blue coated clear slime. It was a bit sticky, so I did add some activator, which again, is totally not the seller's fault. I did let it sit for a bit. This coated clear slime was thicker than most other ones, and I love how clear it is. It's also scented as well. It is scented a refreshing floral scent of rose and ivy. The slime comes with two soft clay hearts decorated with pink neon glitter, and also comes with some more rainbow female slices. I love the overall aesthetic of this slime and mixing it in is very satisfying as well. It turns into a very light periwinkle colored soft clay slime that has some pink glitters throughout it. The texture is super squishy, fluffy, and inflatable. Definitely recommend playing with the coated clear slime first before you add in the clay so that you can enjoy two different textures. Next up, we have Secret Potion, which is a pigmented pink coated clear slime. It does have a slight purple color shift. There's also some gorgeous glitter in the slime and also comes with a beautiful butterfly charm. The texture is semi-thick, very bouncy and chewy, and overall just a great coated clear slime. Makes nice bubble pops and is gorgeous, and it's also scented as well for being how clear it is. It's scented a blend of blackberry, vanilla, and violet, but to me it smells mostly on the fruity side, which is still as great.
And lastly in this review, we have Caramel Cider Froth. It comes with a clay slime and a coated jelly slime to add on top. The clay slime itself is scented caramel cider while the coated jelly is scented like apple. Once you mix it up, it smells mostly like sweet apples. I love how the two textures arrive separately so that it doesn't mix during transit and it's also really fun to mix. Once fully mixed, the texture really reminds me of soft. It is chubby, soft, fluffy, and super inflatable. Honestly, all her clay-based slimes are just so, so inflatable. I really enjoy them. They make really nice sizzles. Overall, I really enjoyed all three packages. Usually, there might be some slimes that I'm not a huge fan of, but all of these I really love. I strongly recommend checking out these underrated slime shops. And that is all for this slime video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!